a very good morning to you. Today we are going to present about the binomial discrete distribution. It will be about the engineering application. So first there will be a small introduction on what is binomial distribution and then two examples which, sh which show engineering application. So let me start first. First I want to introduce the binomial trial which is a random experiment in which there are only two possible outcomes. It can either be a success or a failure, means either 0 or 1, which can be seen here. It has only two values, 0 and 1. 1 can denote uh, success or failure. It depends on the situation or the question. So here we can say the probability that x equal to 1 means the trial is a success or the trial is a failure is p. This is the probability. And total probability, as we all know, is 1. So the next uh, next one, log 3, must be 1 minus p. Then we see for the binomial distribution. Uh, definition can be said, it's like a random variable x that counts the number of successes k in n trials is said to have a binomial distribution with parameters n and p. So it must be considered that there are all conditions for a binomial distribution to occur. First, there must be n trials, n binomial trials, where the one trial it has only two outcomes, and then also the probability do, do not affect each other. Means the events are independent. So if this occurs, then a binomial distribution will happen in this situation, and it can be represented by this form, where x is said to have a binomial distribution of the total number, which is n and probability of success, which is p. Or it can be represented like this, where binomial k is the number of success, n is the total number of trials, and p is the probability of a success. Then for probability of one value, uh, let's say uh, one value is k, and the total number is n, we need to find the probability of success for k. Then we can say here the probability of the random variable, which, which is a binomial distribution, the value k is here, equals to nk, p to the power of k, 1 minus p to the power of n minus k. So usually 1 minus p is usually denoted by q. And uh, n and k is nck, which can be typed on the calculator. So now let us see in a few examples. The first question about binomial discrete distribution. So uh, the question is, in a box of switches, you know 10% of the switches are for P. A technician is wiring 30 circuits, each of which need one switch. What is the probability that A all 30 work? B at most two of the circuits do not work. So from the question, we know that there is 10% that are faulty from 30 circuits. So let's see the solution. Assalamualaikum and a very good evening to good morning to everyone. <laughs> uh, so now let's see the the solution for the question that has been explained before. So uh, for this question, it asks. In a box of switches, it is known that 10% of the switches are faulty, which is uh, which is the value of Q in this question is 10%, which is equal to 0 0.1. And then a technician is wiring 30 circuits, which is 30 is the number of is the value of n. Each of which needs one switches a switch. What is the probability that for the question A, all thirty all thirty works, which is uh, the value of P is obviously ninety percent, ninety percent, which is equal to zero point nine. We will use uh, the 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 formula of N X P power of X Q N uh, power of N minus X. So um, 
we will use uh, the probability of x equals to 30 is we will use this formula which is we will get 0 0.04239 and for the second question which is what is the probability that at most two of the circuits do not work which is 28 uh, of the circuits that are working so the solution is p equals uh, p p x more than or equals to 28 which is we will uh, add the sum of p when when p uh, when x equals to 28 plus x equals to 29 and plus uh, plus x equals to 30 and we will use the same formula for each value of x 28 29 and 30 with the same probability of P and Q which when we add all of it we will get when uh, the probability of X more than or equal 28 is 0 0.41135 That's all, thank you Now, the second question for binomial discrete distribution is the bits are sent over a communication channel in packet of 12. Is the probability of a bit being, being corrupted over this channel is 0 0.1. And such errors are independent. What is the probability that no more than 2 bits is in a packet are corrupted? So let us see the solution. Using these parameters, we can 